In this video, we're going to attempt to find some square roots using our calculator that are not perfect squares. If there is not a perfect square, then we'll do just that. We'll use the calculator to approximate it. And each calculator is different in how it goes about calculating a square root. So, for example, if we wanted to find the square root of 25, we know the answer should be 5, because 5 squared is 25. Some calculators, you type in the 25 first, and they actually have a button that's got a square root on it, and that will give you a 5. Other calculators will want you to do the symbol first, and they might not have a square root symbol, but they'll have either a second button that's usually a different color, or it might be a shift button that's a different color. And then you'll usually hit the button that says x squared on it, because right above the x squared is a square root symbol. And that's what the shift or second button does, is it grabs the operation just above the button. And then you can type in the 25, and that should give you an answer of 5. Or it might be some combination of these, and it's important we know how to use our calculator successfully to give us a square root. So make sure you're aware of how your calculator works, so that we can use it to approximate square roots, such as the square root of 17. Now, we can't do this just kind of running through perfect squares, because we know 4 squared is 16, that's too small. And 5 squared is 25, that's too big. So the square root of 17 has to be somewhere between 4 and 5, probably closer to 4. And so that's why we're going to have to use our calculator to do it. So we'll type in the square root of 17, however your calculator requires you to do it. And the calculator tells you it's approximately 4.123, and it goes on and on and on. We'll just round it to 4.123. And just as we expected, a little bigger than 4, much smaller than 5, 4.123 is our square root. Let's find the square root of 456. Again, on our calculator, that's really quick. We type in the square root of 466, depending on how your calculator evaluates that. Either the shift key and then the x squared, which will have a square root above it, or you might have a square root button, and you get 21.354, and it goes on, but we'll round it off there for your square root. So again, it's really important you know how square roots work on your calculator, so that when we use them in the future, you're able to quickly find them and solve problems.